Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Fatima. In today's video, we're going to be installing this gorgeous unit from Wiggins Hair. So we're going to get right into the video. All of the stats for this unit will be down below in case you guys want to know the length of this unit, um, the density, etc. This is HD lace, however, and I did go in and bleach the knots and pluck the frontal before filming as usual. So the first thing that I did do was cut the air tabs off and then I'm going to go in with my bold hold to start gluing this unit down. So I used to use the bold hold glue in sections, but actually now I literally just put glue around the whole perimeter of my head um, to just glue everything down at once. I realized that it's a little bit like faster for me to do it this way and just a lot easier as you guys can see i already went in with my wig cap as well so i knew that i wanted this wig to stay on for quite a while so i went in with a couple layers i think three or four layers maybe even more and i'm just doing the same routine so i'm going in with dots across my forehead and then i'm using the back of my eyebrow razor just to kind of smooth it out i'm trying to make sure that i'm applying thin layers as well um, if you do apply thick layers, sometimes the glue can become a little bit gummy. So I'm letting that dry down a little bit. I do not wait for the glue to dry completely clear. There's always a little bit of white. I don't know. I've seen a lot of people say that you have to wait until the glue dries completely clear. But whenever I apply lace on glue that is completely dried out and clear, my wig does not stick. So I always make sure that it's like, I want to say like 80% clear. And then I go in and apply my lace down. And that's how my wig stays on for the longest. The next step is to cut all of the excess lace off. I'm going in with an eyebrow razor and cutting in sections. So I'm doing the front first. And then I like to go in front of the hairline and cut the lace. And whatever is left over, so whatever has not like glued down where there is not glue, I will go in and add some extra glue with the back of my rat tail comb as you guys can see um this is actually the best method for me and i've been doing this for a really long time so i apply glue not exactly where i'm going to cut the lace but slightly before so that when i go in and cut the excess lace off there's usually a bit of excess lace that has not glued completely to my forehead and then i go in with a precise rat tail comb to add the additional glue if that makes sense and that just assures that i only place glue where i need to also another thing that i did not mention earlier i put no foundation on the lace i actually talked about this on instagram on one of my reels and a lot of people were confused like so you put no product no foundation no tint on your lace and it still melts yes i got this tip from a girl on youtube i i think jalea is her name i might be completely off but i think her name is something like that um and she was talking about how she does not put foundation or anything on her lace so i'm like let me try it out and you guys if you have hd lace do not do not put any foundation or tint on your lace just glue it down trust me your lace will be melted like super melted like i'm so shook this looks so much better than if i would have placed like foundation on it like the melt is just so good so yeah that's one of the things that i do that i've been doing recently and it has taken my installs to the next level and i've also noticed that my installs just last so much longer because even if the lace starts to lift a little bit at the front like it still blends into my skin a little bit i don't know but you guys definitely need to try it out i went in with the ebon lace spray and sprayed down the lace i'm going in with my wiggins headband um that they sent to me and i'm just tying everything down just so that everything could be nice and flat and then when i took off my headband even more melted which is insane you could not tell me that this is not my real hair honestly so the next thing that i'm doing is taking my edges out and then i also went in and plucked that a little bit i wanted the edges to be really natural and fluffy especially on the side where i was going to do like the side swoop um so i just like plugged that a little bit and then i went in with my half inch flat iron and some pink hairspray and just swooped that in place i also added some mousse to the hair because i really wanted it to be like super flat and swooped in um, and then i went in with my headband and just tied that down and then when i took it off i just combed everything out because like i said i do like my baby hairs to appear more so fluffy than like hard and 
like just stuck in place i want them to look very natural i feel like i still have a lot of work to go i've been trying recently to really work on my baby hairs and like step my baby hair game up because i feel like it does need a little bit of work i could definitely get better at that um but yeah i just did the same for all of my other swoops and my sideburns um just cut it short curl it and then swoop it in with some mousse and some hairspray And then once I took my elastic band off, everything looked really good. I just cut the side swoop a little bit shorter and then now we're on to literally my favorite part. So I went in with my Care Care Wax Stick and then I'm just going in with my hot comb. This is the Andis hot comb from Amazon. It gets super hot. It's my fave and I'm just going to make sure that everything is really nice and flat with the hot comb. I'm going to go in and comb the top out. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is straighten the hair. This is straight hair um, that was sent to me. But because when I did bleach the knots, I did end up like getting some water on the hair. So there were certain parts that weren't like super bone straight. So I'm just going over it with my straightener just to make sure that everything is nice and straight before I go in and cut the hair. So now I'm going in and cutting the hair. I did have a specific look in mind and that look required me to like cut the hair down to this length. Usually when I go for a shorter hairstyle, I always ask for a little bit of a longer length so that I can cut the hair down because nine times out of 10, the ends are gonna be very thin. And on a short hair look, especially if you're gonna be curling the hair, you need the hair to be very thick at the bottom or it will just look very off. Um, so yeah, I asked for 20 inches, but they obviously sent me a little bit longer than that This looks like maybe a 24 or something along maybe even longer than that So yeah, because I got a lot of questions on why I cut off so much of the length that wasn't my goal to cut off that much um, but yeah, in the end, I got what I wanted. This is the length that I wanted exactly. And I'm just going in with my razor comb and just lightly layering the front of my hair where like the side bang is gonna be just so that that can lay properly. And then now for the final portion of this video, I'm going in and curling the hair. Um, with this type of hairstyle, I really just like the curls to sit on the bottom. Um, so I'm just making sure to get the bottom of the hair and I'm not I don't want the curls to be like super super defined as well I was kind of going for like a light curl that I can like brush out and it will become more of like a wave type of thing So I did do that on both sides. This is the babyless flat iron that I'm using I'm not sure how you pronounce it babyless babyless, but that's what I'm using to curl the hair I love this flat iron especially because as you guys can see there's plates on both sides of the flat iron So it's hot kind of all around which makes it perfect for curling hair And that is the final result, you guys. I'm just brushing the hair out because I do want the curls to be more fluffy. I want it to be more of like a wave than a tight curl. And this is what it looks like. I love this hairstyle. I feel like it just flatters my face perfectly, which is why I always go back to this hairstyle. I think it looks really good on me. So yeah, thank you so much to Wiggins Hair for sponsoring today's video. If you guys did like this video, of course, hit the like button. Leave some comments down below. Let me know what other type of hairstyles you guys would like to see from me. Of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.